Poverty was a problem that plagued the Chinese nation for thousands of years. By 2020, China lifted its entire population of rural impoverished residents under the current income standard out of poverty. All poor counties have been removed from the poverty list. This was seen as a significant milestone for China's development and a miraculous feat for humanity. Behind this historic achievement lies a mission of the Communist Party of China and its commitment to its people. Seventy-eight-year-old Kong Dainar of Dulong ethnicity used to lead a primitive life. Her hometown used to be cut off from the outside world for half of the year due to heavy snows. With assistance from local poverty cadres, Kong has moved into a new home and now runs her own business. Thanks to hefty government investment and the development of unique industries, the Dulong ethnic group got rid of poverty in 2018. They wrote a letter to President Xi Jinping to tell him the good news. On April 10th, 2019, Xi wrote a letter of congratulations in return, saying that letting the people of all ethnic groups have a good life has been my aspiration as well as our common goal. This vividly demonstrates that people's dream to live a happy life will surely come true with the strong leadership of the party and the concerted efforts of the people. Since the day it was founded, the CPC has deemed it its responsibility to seek national independence and liberation and lift its people out of poverty. Throughout the years, the CPC has remained committed to the people-centered philosophy of development. She has said that eliminating poverty, improving people's well-being, and achieving common prosperity for everyone are an important mission of the CPC. No one will be left behind in the poverty battle, even in the most remote places. Villagers have been living here for hundreds of years. After targeted poverty alleviation projects were implemented, the vine ladder was turned into a steel one. In May 2020, 84 registered impoverished households in the village were relocated to the county siege of Zhao Chui. Yo 
from a vine ladder to a steel ladder, and now to stairs, the people's aspiration for a good life has been the goal of the CPC. The secret behind China's poverty alleviation miracle is also revealed in Jingon Shen, a city known as the Cradle of Chinese Revolution. In 1927, it was here that the CPC established its first rebel revolutionary base. The city also stands as a testament to the CPC's original aspiration, seeking happiness for the Chinese people. Now, 100 years after its founding, the CPC remains committed to its fundamental purpose of serving the people wholeheartedly. Since 2012, the CPC Central Committee has given top priority to the battle against poverty and has organized the world's biggest and toughest poverty relief battle in human history. And President Xi has personally led the anti-poverty war. In late 2012, around one month after taking the helm of the party, Xi braved the winter cold to visit poor villagers in Hebei province, where he called for national efforts to fight poverty. She said that on the path towards a moderately prosperous society, the most strenuous tasks were to be accomplished in rural areas, especially the poverty-stricken regions. In June 2017, she made an inspection tour of Liuliang, then one of China's most impoverished areas. By then, he'd visited all of China's 14 contiguous areas of extreme poverty. In the Oliang, she said that poverty alleviation in China's regions most in need is a task that must be accomplished, no matter how arduous the process might be. In 2020, while attending a symposium on poverty alleviation, she stressed that lifting all rural residents living below the current poverty line out of poverty by 2020 was a solemn promise made by the CBC Central Committee and must be fulfilled on time. In April 2020, she made an inspection tour to Shanxi Province. At this tea farm in Pingli, party secretaries at five levels gathered to direct poverty relief work on the front line. In China's anti-poverty fight, party chiefs at various levels are required to take full responsibility for the timetable and roadmap of the poverty battle in their areas. Today, <laughs> Peng is now a farm state owner. It's hard to imagine that her family was once mired in poverty. Kanshian 我們一年的收入達到了十多萬
大家都来尝尝我的手艺。我作为一名扶贫干部，感觉到非常的自豪。工程不必在我，但工程必定有我。这是井冈山精神：坚定执着追理想，实事求是闯新路，艰苦奋斗攻难关，依靠群众求胜利，在新时代的充分的体现。Since 2012, the CPC has established a system of poverty alleviation with Chinese characteristics. Offering its solution to the global anti-poverty fight, China has given full play to the strengths of its socialist system to formulate strategies in fighting poverty. With its institutional advantage, the party has been able to concentrate efforts and pull resources for major projects, such as developing industries, relocation, and ecological compensation. 中央对我们的支持很大。随着交通的改善，贵州呢作为脱贫攻坚最重要的一个战场，那么我们的贫困人口大幅的降低。我是六十平的土房，我换了个六十平的楼，这个岁数敢能想着能买得起吗？谁知道长这个这好？党的这个教育政策，三米一补啊，营养午餐啊，激素制的补助，方方面面，全部覆盖覆盖到每一个学生。海南州村聚光扶贫电站投资三点四个亿，扶持带动五千一百七十三个贫困村的七千二百六十九户建档绿卡贫困户。国家的扶贫政策就像阳光一样，照射到每一位贫困户身上。中国共产党领导的社会主义制度，集中力量摆大势的优势，是我们贫困地区群众脱贫致富梦想高的根本的制度保证。The vastness of China carries unlimited possibilities for poverty elimination and creates powerful joint forces to achieve common prosperity for everyone. Chinese workers are doing a lot of work. They are working hard. They are doing a lot of work. 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 我是想出去挣两个钱，不可能说是让娃娃饿肚子去。八个福建小饭吗？下娘。下娘。新娘。Jin is benefiting from a pairing up policy between eastern and western China on poverty relief. He's leaving for Fujian, which is more than 2,000 kilometers away. 你爸爸走了。看爸爸呢！看爸爸呢！ Jim knew that the path in front of him would change his family's fate. This will solve the problem of the family and the family. It will solve the problem of the family and the family. It will solve the problem of the family and the family. It will solve the problem of the family and the family. It will solve the problem of the family. 
，呃，还有一点小警告。可以可以，嗯，呃，祝你在马尾能就是工作顺利，生活顺心。贫困劳动力啊，他能够到东部地区来顺利的就业，享受到相应的帮扶政策，啊，让他们啊能够有这个比较固定的收入，啊，实现他们啊脱贫攻坚的一个目标。The comfortable working environment and generous income have reassured Jin. With the policy implemented further, back in his hometown, Lingxia is also undergoing tremendous changes with the help of Fujian. In 1997, Xi Jinping, then Deputy Party Chief of Fujian, visited Lingxia on a pairing up poverty relief mission. Leaders of the two sides jointly decided to relocate entire villages in unhabitable areas of Shihaigu to a new village in the plains. The relocation demonstration area, with Fujian offering support, was named Mining, meaning Fujian and Ningxia. Today, I'm going to Haiyan moved from a mountain village in Shihaigu to Minning eight years ago. Now, she's living a life she never could have imagined. The poverty relief e-commerce workshop allows her to work near home, which has made it easier for her to take care of her children. Her goji berry brand Wise Wife has also grown in popularity. Over the past 24 years, Fujian has helped Ningxia foster a raft of industries with distinctive local features and achieve significantly higher economic growth. The Wei La Ba Juhai residential compound, with an investment of 189 million yuan, houses more than 700 poor families belonging to the Lishu minority ethnic group. After moving out of the mountains, Yang Tian Wu was enrolled in a modern primary school, constructed with the assistance of Juhai. In 2018, the school set up its own radio station, the first of its kind in Nijiang. Shangyu the teachers from Zhuhai have become a window through which students in Lujiang can learn about their motherland and places far away. Under the leadership of the CPC, Poverty alleviation has become a strategic task for the country. In what's believed to be the largest poverty reduction campaign in history, the whole Chinese society was mobilized, including governments, public organizations and enterprises. China's socialist system has made it possible to pull resources and stick to the targets from start to finish. China is validating what is socialism. Not only El desarrollo, sino la prosperidad común de la sociedad. Don't think only about your standard of life. Don't get rich alone. Try to make other people richer too. Eliminating absolute poverty in the world's most populous country 
fulfilling a task that has eluded humanity for thousands of years, has been part of the mission that the CPC has maintained for the past 100 years. From the original aspiration of serving the people, with firm confidence in China's socialism, to concerted efforts for achieving common prosperity, this is what lies behind China's achievement of bringing its last 100 million impoverished people out of poverty.